In this sub-lesson, we're focusing on the concept of analyzing cyber defense trends. But the truth of the matter is, we're going to be looking at various tools and various vendors. We'll be going to quite a few sites, and we're going to see a lot of solutions for analyzing cyber defense trends using a wide variety of different tools. And you want to make sure that you go to all of those websites on those web safaris and look at the bleeding edge and cutting edge technology that's being used for cyber defense analysis. One of the things you're going to notice that's a trend when you go to these sites is just abandoning traditional relational database management systems like MySQL, SQL, NoSQL, and others, and moving towards uh, tools that can be better analyzed using big data, BigQuery, and machine learning. So moving towards unstructured, large database solutions like Berkeley DB, Redis, sending NetFlow version 9 data to Hive over Hadoop, and using MongoDB. And when you go to these different vendor sites, you're going to notice that this is an underlying trend that's moving forward now. You'll also see inside organizations and inside programmers and developers writing supervised machine learning algorithms using the R programming language and possibly Python scripts to predict malware trends. This can be done in your private cloud, or like I said, we're going to see several vendors who have created their own algorithms and have created their own solutions in R that are uh, proprietary and very powerful, and they're providing solutions, as we would say, security as a service, okay? A great book you might want to get, in addition to some of the other training that's being provided by Pearson, is Data-Driven Security by Jacobs and Rudis. There's also some training coming out in the near future on data science, and that's a huge trend that you might want to explore. This is a great book. Uh, even if you're not a statistician or really a hardcore programmer, it's still a great resource to help you kind of get a grasp on some of the trends in using data science to analyze cyber security and improve your cyber defense. One of the other trends is using linear regression for trend analysis. So this is being used to find relationships between the cyber observables, okay? Estimating how different observation inputs are contributing to different outputs. Uh, this is excellent for predicting and forecasting from trends that you might be gathering from your NetFlow and your syslog raw data, okay? One of the downsides to linear regression is it doesn't extrapolate well beyond the observable data. So in other words, it's not going to be as powerful as let's say machine learning and AI, but it's still a very powerful tool. You know, there'll be outliers, so that will lead to some errors and some mistakes and some false positives. Also, if there's hidden relationships, Linear regression may not find those and they may stay hidden, whereas machine learning and big data analysis may actually find those hidden relationships. And if you have too many variables with linear regression, you're going to skew the results. I showed you earlier dashboards and some of the simpler output, and I kind of made the joke about no pie for me, thank you, and how a lot of cyber professionals are just kind of moving away from just simple bar charts and two-dimensional pie charts. And what we're starting to see is these huge trends in visibility and analysis using much more elaborate methods like this to show distribution, vulnerabilities and attacks and trends. So these more three-dimensional models and graphics are showing up in visibility tools. And these are the types of things you can express with R programming language, for example, or R Studio to better present the analysis of your cyber defense threats, as well as tools like this, which are much more three-dimensional and much more uh, expressive, and you can draw better results than just simply showing a pie chart or a, a bar chart. And you get much better visibility and understanding than just showing a simple pie chart or a bar chart. And that's what these advanced tools, some of these tools again are from third-party vendors and you'll be relying upon those. 
But then again, you can also find the expertise in-house to deliver these types of solutions to better analyze cyber defense trends.